is here wrestling observer alive mike sempervivi also of wrestlingobserver.com former wwe wrestler lars sullivan yes former wwe wrestler lars sullivan told fightful he is likely done with wrestling following the tuesday news of his quiet january release from wwe according to the fightful select post sullivan said he told WWE he was done as he struggled with, quote, crippling anxiety issues to the point of struggling to eat during days of TV filming and that he was having trouble sleeping. He said the front office and locker room treated him well and there were no bullying issues. Sullivan's father also passed away in 2020, which only added to the issues. The story said the 32-year-old was complimentary of WWE and that he believed they handled his situation with, quote, compassion and honesty, Sullivan also told Fightful that he was his own worst enemy, calling his behavior selfish, some of his actions idiocy, and that he was the reason for not advancing in his dream job. Dave Meltzer said Vince McMahon wanted to push Sullivan recently, but he no-showed on a TV day, which apparently was the beginning of the end. It is unclear when the no-show took place, as Sullivan's final WWE match was on the October 23rd edition of SmackDown. Sullivan had been in the WWE system since October 2014, starting at the Performance Center, worked in NXT through the end of 2018, and made his main roster debut on the post-WrestleMania Raw in April 2019. Soon thereafter, in June, he severely injured his knee and did not return until October 2020 on SmackDown. So that's the story there. And I'd have to go back... But I, I, obviously, he's had many anxiety issues since being called up to the main roster. But I don't seem to remember those things happening in NXT. So there's part of me that wonders, could they have sent him back to NXT? Now, the issue is, I think, that once he went to the main roster, he was, in fact, making significantly more money than he was making in NXT. And the amount of money he was making on the main roster can't justify paying that kind of money in NXT. So maybe that's where that decision came from. But it is interesting that he said here that not only out of WWE, but he thinks that he's out of wrestling entirely. So nothing. He's done. So I guess I guess we'll see the future. Nothing is forever, but it appears this is the end of Lars Sullivan, according to him. Yeah, not much to say from a wrestling point of view. And I think uh We've talked a lot about Lars Sullivan over the last couple of years because of some of the things that center around his name. But uh, for me, I guess just a real life point of view, hopefully he can get himself straight. Hopefully he can get his anxiety issues figured out. So that's, uh, I guess, the best to him. And I guess goodbye as far as seeing him in pro wrestling anymore. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.